In this video, we are going to talk about automated modern egg farming technology. These types of technology are efficient and cost effective. Modern egg farms keep tens of thousands of female birds, usually chickens incarcerated, in order to efficiently harvest the eggs that they lay. Efficiency is everything because farming is a business, and every cent spent is tightly controlled. If we think about eggs at all, we probably think no more than that they are a convenient foodstuff that comes from the store, but here we'll invite you to go a little deeper in this video, to see beyond the packaged product stacked high on a shelf, and consider instead the process that it takes to bring them to your nearest grocery store shelf. Egg farmers feel a responsibility to provide the best possible care to hens, and produce safe, wholesome and affordable eggs. Over time, farms have modified how they house and care for hens and produce eggs, adopting science-based practices as new information and research becomes available. With this spirit of continuous improvement, egg farms have improved the health and productivity of hens, enhanced food safety, and lessened impacts on the environmental, while providing a high-quality affordable egg supply. It takes a female between 23 and 32 hours to produce a fertile egg. The eggs are automatically collected daily, transported to the hatchery, and stored at 55 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 70% humidity until they are set in the incubator. The eggs are held about 3 to 7 days prior to placing in an incubator. Incubators hold thousands of eggs in a very controlled environment. At day 18, the eggs are transferred into hatching baskets. On the 21st day, the chicks hatch. Once the chicks hatch, they are removed from the hatches and processed before being taken to pollard grow out farms. Processing of layer type chickens includes sexing, separating the males and females, and vaccination. They are then counted and placed in baskets for delivery to the farm within 12 to 48 hours of hatch. The chicks are then placed in a cage or floor rearing house, depending on which environment they will be raised as adults. The pollets are raised in this facility for the first 18 weeks of life, under environmentally controlled conditions. Controlling the length of daylight is extremely important for pollets. Pollets are never allowed more than 10 hours of light daily, so they are not prematurely stimulated to lay eggs. Once the hens lay for 60 to 65 weeks, they are rested or molted. This will force all the hens to stop laying at the same time, and allow them rebuild calcium stores and restore body condition. Hens are then brought back into production together for another laying cycle. Depending on numerous economic factors, hens are kept for one to three laying cycles before they are replaced with a new flock. Hens lay for a shorter time and lay poorer quality eggs in each subsequent cycle, but eggs are usually a bit larger as hens age. Eggs are automatically collected daily on belts and rollers into an egg processing room connected to the hen houses. In the processing room, machines wash, grade, and sort the eggs by size, and package the eggs for the whole egg market, or to be shipped to a further processing plant. Some modern egg breaking plants do not carton the eggs, but break them into liquid eggs for pasteurizing in line. Further processing changes the product into something more convenient or useful in another form. Liquid and dried eggs are used in a wide array of consumer products. Convenient pre-cooked egg products are also more common at food stores and restaurants. This also adds more value to the final product. When eggs come directly from the egg laying farm to the egg breaking or processing plant, they are called in-line operations. There is a very short time between when the eggs are laid and when they reach the egg processing plant. Most new complexes are in-line systems designed to move eggs directly on conveyors from laying houses to the processing area. The eggs presented for breaking in these operations are called nest run. The nest run are eggs that have never been sized, washed, or graded. A high percentage of the eggs gathered by this method are first-rate quality if good flock management practices are in place. Another way of delivering eggs is in fuller flats, offline systems, that come from contract flocks. Contract flocks are chicken houses that the company contracts to furnish eggs. The eggs from offline systems can come from multiple chicken farms, and there may be a lot of variability in the age of the eggs. Eggs are packed in plastic filler flats, palletized, and transported to the processing facility. These plastic flats are to be thoroughly cleaned, sanitized, and dried after each use to avoid cross-contamination and the creation of insanitary conditions. The proper handling of eggs is important, as it helps to prevent egg damage, minimizes any quality loss, and avoids compromising the safety of the egg. In egg breaking plants, the production starts with the loading of eggs as either in-line operations or off-line systems. In off-line systems, once the egg full of flats or nest run eggs arrive in the transfer room, flats of eggs are loaded to the off-line conveyors, and moved to conveyor spools going through the egg washers. Shell eggs, when presented for breaking, must be clean. Modern egg washers use pressure sprays, rotating brushes, and an egg spinning device that increases contact between the egg and the brush, and minimizes damage to the eggs. Plant personnel segregate shell eggs ineligible for breaking during the candling operation. Shell eggs continue on the conveyor to the breaking room. 
candling eggs in the candling process, eggs are mechanically rotated several times over a bright light to examine the internal quality of the egg. The primary function of the candling procedure is to remove the dirty or cracked and ineligible eggs before the breaking step. This is a critical step in the processing of the shell eggs. Egg products plants may have more than one candling area, before and after the washer, depending on the segregation procedures, eggshell quality and classifications, and conveyor speed. Plant employees sort, classify, and segregate the eggs to ensure that only eggs eligible for breaking enter the breaking room. During segregation, the employees will remove inedible eggs. To prevent interruption of the breaking operation, employees may replace any dirty, leaker, inedible or lost eggs with clean and sound shell eggs. Breaking eggs in breaking room facilities and operations, shell eggs are broken, and the liquid is separated from the shells. After the egg is broken, the breaking machine can separate the yolk from the white. Liquid egg product handling after breaking, the liquid egg flows into collection vats, balanced tanks, by gravity. A perforated plate contained within the vat serves as a filter to remove eggshells. The liquid egg is pumped through a filter and then is pumped to the cooling system. After cooling, the liquid egg is pumped to a storage silo for further processing. The Egg Product Inspection Act requires that all egg products distributed into commerce be pasteurized. Pasteurization involves rapidly heating the product and holding the product at a minimum required temperature for a specific time. The reason for pasteurization is to destroy salmonella without affecting the characteristics of the final egg product. Frozen egg products include separated whites and yolks, whole eggs, blends of whole eggs and yolks, and whole eggs with added ingredients. They are produced from pasteurized liquid egg products by using a blast freezer at temperatures of negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Frozen egg products have a long shelf life when kept at less than 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Eggs with cracks are removed from the egg processing line. Broken eggs are thrown into a bin and sold for utilization in dog food. Eggs that have cracks but are not leaking are taken away for pasteurization and transformation into liquid egg products sold in cartons of plastic containers or perhaps even frozen. They may be sold to another processor who transforms them into powdered eggs, or they may be sold to local bakeries for use in goods there. Many egg processors are aware of the ecological problems created by the polystyrene cartons, and egg processor encourage recycling of the product packaging. Quality control happens in all parts of the egg processing. First and foremost, the chicken farmer ensures that his hens are well fed with a diet specifically formulated to provide the best grade of egg. Laying hens also require a good supply of clean fresh water. The hen house is well insulated so that the farmer can control the temperature. Effective candling is essential to quality control as well. Candling reveals nearly everything that is need to know about the quality of the egg's age, cracks, clarity, no blood spots. Furthermore, most egg processors can tell much about the quality of the egg just by looking at the shape and color of the shell. Salmonella is a hazard of the egg industry. However, it is estimated that 90% of eggs are free from salmonella at the time they are laid. Salmonella bacteria occurs after laying. Proper washing and sanitizing of eggs with a government-approved soap eliminates most salmonella and spoilage organisms that are deposited on the shell from the hen ovaries. Egg farmers are also careful to refrigerate the eggs as soon as they are gathered just prior to packing. The egg processors, too, move eggs quickly through the processing to packaging to ensure the eggs are clean and fresh for the consumer.